Hello and welcome to episode 12 of our Terraborn Update 5 Folktales Hard Mode playthrough here in Cycle 21, Day 18. Last time we got, I believe this was, a, I don't know, 24, 27, some, some amount of days higher than 20, lower than 30 uh, length drought started. We'd recovered from a little bit of a shortage of some of our stuff and more or less off to a pretty good start as far as getting through this drought unscathed. We got 7,000 water stored up after we finally started having some additional storage put in. And food is looking okay, but it could be better. We did take a big step toward that uh, with the add of these potatoes up here. And we're going to continue kind of transitioning a lot of this lower area into other crops uh, once we get past all that. So, things to accomplish today. We have to solve our power problem because this this is not going to cut it. Making almost no power, having all the stuff we have to take care of, it's just not working. So one of the easiest ways for us to do that is going to be to turn the paper mills back on, and we can actually start replacing these smaller windmills, because we have a lot of a capacity problem uh, that needs to be addressed, and it's not going to get better unless we do something about it. So come in here with our large windmill. Uh, we're going to need some more paper. We only have the 18, but uh, everything else, technically, we have. And once we pick up these remnants, uh, stuff will get a little bit better as well. Let's go ahead and turbo through the rest of the night so we don't have to worry about the rest of this stuff. And we will get to work on replacing these windmills. And then, yes, gravity battery stands. We will put in gravity batteries if I can make it happen today. I just I hate how they look. They're super ugly. That's why I like the flywheels mod so much. I don't have it installed for this one because this was supposed to be a lightly modded uh, playthrough. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. Just got to get this going here, and then figure out exactly where we want to put our hideous, ugly, disastrous, life-ruining gravity batteries. Uh, probably somewhere up here, up on platforms or whatever. But uh, everything else, like I was saying, was looking pretty good. We were kind of in the middle of getting this wheat area uh, put together, trying to figure out if we're going to have uh, all of this land detonated out or not. But now that we actually have the ability to, I think we might as well go ahead and just bite the bullet and do it. It'll give us a little bit more water storage here to uh, keep in reserve. So we'll do all these doubles. There we go. Yeah, just set all this as doubles. Uh, I was originally planting these sunflower seeds. I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing for us to be putting here. But it is something that we can grow and have them munch on. So I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that. I will just uh, continue putting these in. We'll get these explosives put in place. Should not be an issue. And then we need to uh, expand this and make some more storage for all of our other fun stuff. Uh, this storage for bread is going to become storage for wheat flour. And then we're going to have to have the actual storage for bread somewhere over here. And I was going to have this path come along the, uh, the back side. So what we will do is we'll just make this big ugly thing right here for bread storage. And then this will get turned into a wheat flour, which is right here. And once they have that built, uh, that'll be fine. But we got to have some more planks. So, you know, actually what we're going to do, I'll just pause construction on that so they don't use any of those planks. Because we got to get over here. Got to make some more large windmills. Just absolutely have to. And yes... Fractured 23, the trooper, is <laughs> powering all the stuff that's turned on all by themselves. <sighs> what a uh, what a dedication. What a dedication to teamwork that is. Uh, I'm I'm just for the sake of sanity, I'm gonna pause everything except the uh, paper mills and everything like this, so we can uh, hopefully hopefully make good use of everything. Got some planks yet to get picked up here. Then we'll just keep putting these in one at a time as we have the room and ability to. Because right now, this these are making 155, these are making 77, so no brainer to just keep working on this. Other things we could be doing with our planks. Uh, these floodgates here need to be built, uh, but it's not currently the 
biggest uh, the biggest priority. We are are working our way toward that though. I want to make sure that uh, when we finally have these built, that it will shove all of the bad water back off this side, so it can be used for power. Uh, this one's already in place to kind of take care of most of that, shoving it back through here. But we have a little bit of space back here that we need to have, uh, I guess, levied off, which we can pretty easily do right like so. We just have to have everything connected, which might as well, if we're going to get down here, Go ahead and put in a staircase and then not even worry about really cutting these down although it's not really it's not really time sensitive so i guess we could uh, i guess we could take our time put a lumberjack flag in place so they could actually make use of the wood and we should in theory here we go should in theory not have a problem with any of this just have to get everything else going here. Got to get the uh, stairs in place. So I will prioritize those first so we can get to work. But we got to get some more log storage in because we are doing a lot of log farming without too much left to go. We need to do these underground piles. I don't have the, uh, the planks for this. So unfortunately, we're just kind of stuck here with our uh, regular old boring large piles. I think I will sink that one into the uh, corner there. We just want to make sure we can actually cut our trees down. That <laughs> we're actually uh, we're actually growing here. This is not full up of water, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Let's uh, let's scroll down a little bit and find out. Oh no, it is. So what's up with these on the uh, outside here? Maybe that's just. Uh, Maybe it's just because this used to have water in it and it doesn't, or the, I don't know, the water wasn't that high. I don't, I don't know. I got nothing. Don't have any idea why it's like that, but we'll go ahead. Detonate this. Now that's all connected. And the reason I did that is so it can store more water, because this is, the primary purpose of this is to have, wait, why did I do that? Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to do uh, this a little bit lower, but I guess uh, maybe not. Well, that's fine. Uh, the primary purpose of this was to have emergency water release to go down here. It just had the side benefit of actually having uh, some storage up there. So we'll just keep on keeping on with all this. That is looking fine. Uh, I still don't have... I guess I do have enough planks technically to build this, and it's probably in my best interest to go ahead and do so. So I guess we'll do that. Let them uh, get to work on that. Uh, bad water, we still have a 1,000, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I was attempting to make some more dynamite and some uh, some of this stuff, but we just don't have the power for it. Oh, he says before opening this up to see it has over a thousand, but all right. All right. F oh, and then it stops. All right. Yep. See, this is this is why we need gravity batteries. Oh, I hate those things so much. All right. Regular windmill. I'll just go ahead and get rid of both of these. Why not? Let's come grab all the uh, all the bits and pieces here. Now, to get gravity batteries up there, I do have the vertical power shafts mod, but I uh, I don't think they're going to be going up too much vertically until we get into uh, the higher area here. And we are going to have to blast uh, a little channel here for them to go down into. We just have to decide what we're willing to tolerate looking at uh, before, we, uh, before we start building those up too much. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these other large windmills in. I could just put that one in right there. That's fine. Get those built up because they are making enough power to actually, you know, be useful here. We want to make sure that we're being useful at all times. All right, now this is starting to look a little bit better. Let's put in a couple more of these levees. Make sure the planks are facing the correct way, which they are for no other reason than my own personal satisfaction. Get these squigglies hooked up here. Making good progress. So if this is fully dammed up, then uh, not only is this going to be good for diverting bad water over this side here, uh, we could, in theory, have water pumped out of here in the future. I don't, I don't know that we're really going to need to because of how much we already have. 
But uh, we're looking pretty good. I don't know why these... Uh, oh, I manually paused these last time. That's right. Because I do have these set to unpause uh, when a drought starts or a temperate starts. But uh, we haven't needed the water. We've had so much stored up that it hasn't mattered. But we are moving forward going to want to store as much as we can because the evaporation is so crazy now. As soon as we have the ability to build more of these large tanks, we really, really should uh, probably have a ton a ton stored up here. So, good news is, we're making bread. We're making wheat flour with our grist mill. And the way things are now, I think this setup is probably fine. Uh, we could build another bakery to start doing the uh, maple pastries because that requires uh, just a little bit of maple syrup, which we do have. Uh, but I was kind of reluctant because we didn't have enough wheat flour. And I think if we're going to do that, we're going to want to have another grist mill over here. So that's something we're going to want to maybe look into. Uh, somebody said, hey, why don't you just build a, a little path across here and you can have all sorts of different, uh, well, everything over here. And I think that's probably going to be a smart idea. We just have to uh, actually put the platforms in. Ah, 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 ah. You know what? No, no, no. Hold on. We're not cavemen. We have technology. <laughs> we <laughs> That's like got to be one of my favorite SpongeBob quotes. I feel like that show's probably gone completely off the rails at this point. I don't know why they're desecrating Steven Hillenberg's corpse by continuing to make new episodes, but I don't work for Nickelodeon. I make videos on YouTube, so I don't need to, I guess, be that worried about it. But we'll put this bridge here. A little uh, unfortunate that you have to have this little tag on the end. But... Actually, hold on. Hold on. No, we don't, because I could I could delete this and put the doorway on the other side. No, but then I'd have to I'd have to unlock the four by one and I have the science for it, but I don't want an uneven one uneven bridge, so I guess I guess that's okay. We we can live with this for now. So what we're gonna do here, uh the way that this is set up. Now this builder's hut probably doesn't need to be here. I We want to have a builder's hut, but we can move it somewhere else because this is going to be actually a good spot for some bakery action, like I was uh, saying. So if I put two here, I don't want to have two spaces in between. I just want the one. Or I could just leave those alone. What we want is we want to have the ability to have grist mills running constantly. And we want to have more space. So if we move those guys here, get these put in place. And then we could actually have some more storage for other things on this side if we felt like it. Plenty of room. Plenty of room over here. That would be a pretty easy thing to accomplish. How are we looking on these guys making... Yeah, that's actually a pretty good amount of power. Not bad at all, if I say so myself. So why don't we take a second here, just build a little staircase, and then just have this go all the way up. And I will just uh, mark these for deletion. I don't think we need to worry about harvesting. We have so many other trees to make more. I'm not going to worry about that. So what we will do here is, I believe... I did not install the height shore mod, but I can guarantee you that there is a lot. There's a lot of room. If we elevate this by just a couple of uh, platform heights here, there's lots of room for us to just go down into the uh, center of the uh, hill here. So what I would like to do, and I'm not going to blow this up yet, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, that's a little inconvenient, but uh, we could set this back to where this is the bit that gets blown up. Just go all the way down in this middle part and then have the gravity batteries hanging off uh, into it from the outside. So what that would look like would be something like uh, right here, going across, right here, going across. And I am gonna go, go back and redraw this out in ways that make sense like right now, so that we have the equal heights here. So that, that actually doesn't look too bad. If I did it that way, and then just blew up the inside here, 
I went all the way down. And I, I think the amount of power we're going to store with the amount of gravity batteries I'm going to want to put in here is not going to be uh, not going to be an insignificant amount, I guess we could say. But we're going to have to start making some more explosives. And then we are going to have to tie the power in on the end here. So in order to accomplish that, we're going to have... I think I'm going to want to have a path coming back around this side. Why do I still have the thing back in there? I don't know. We're going to want this to connect, or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't care. Maybe this is just the uh, the maintenance access path, and we don't have to worry about it. So I guess if that's the case, yeah. Stop rotating the thing around. You're making me sick. I hear you. I can just put this. Oh, I have the vertical shafts. Why am I even, why am I even bothered with this? I can just do the smart, fun thing. Even though I guess I don't really need to. Because, yeah, this isn't going to be completely straight up and down. At least not not enough to matter. Because that's, uh, that's going to have to... I don't, I don't know. I feel like my brain shuts off every time I try to do something like this. So maybe I should just uh, not, not worry about it. Okay, that's going to go away. Give me... That's still facing the right way. Yes, it is. Put this here and now... Yeah, now this is going to be nice. Uh, we will get rid of the stairs so nobody accidentally goes down to the bad place. That's going to hold quite a bit of water. So now that we're actually starting to make planks, let's make sure. Uh, oh, of course, those need planks. All right, so we're not, we're not going to build this quite yet. Don't worry, we're still going to have some time. But I want to start storing some uh, some power. I know it's going to take a really long time for us to get up there, but let's prioritize getting these stairs put in. Because we don't actually have to have... We don't actually have to have the um, land detonated before we put the gravity batteries in. We just have to be able to get to it at that point to actually get underneath. And I believe we're not going to have any problems with that, at least not right now. But it sure would be easier to just go ahead and do it the first first things first. Let's see, what else? Ah, we're out. We have pumped all of our water from here. All right, well, uh, I don't really need to worry about pausing because we already have 18 unemployed beavers. Uh, I'm not going to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter because this is still held back in here. So maybe it is a good thing this isn't completely connected. If I, if I lower this... Oh, <laughs> they can't even do anything anyway. All right, that's fine. We will uh, have to leave this alone then. We are waiting on. Oh, we're waiting on planks for the bakeries. I didn't think they took. Uh, didn't think they took planks. All right. Well, that certainly is an interesting development. Uh, the large tank needs planks, but I think the. Uh, man, I, I think these. I think these floodgates are going to be a little bit more important than that. Oh, I just. I need to have planks super bad. I guess if we have. Oh man, if we have the. Uh, the probably five or six days, I guess it would have to be a minimum of six full days uh, in the wet season to generate the power, then I guess I don't need to stress out about building the batteries quite yet. This, this is probably, honestly, a little bit more important here. Oh, also, if we're diverting, as so many of you kindly reminded me, uh, we don't need the contamination barriers, so we can actually get rid of those. We can plant stuff and we can do terraforming. So um, I'm not going to get rid of them quite yet because there's still a possibility that these floodgates aren't completed by the time a bad tide comes in. So I'm not going to get rid of them yet, but we will remove these uh, eventually and replace them with more land once we have terraforming, which, by the way, uh, update last week, remove the terraforming building from the game. So now you just have the dirt excavator and builders put the dirt in. But it needs power, so that's why we haven't built it yet. We will get there. We will get there, eventually. Yeah, the food situation is is improving. It's, it's getting better. But uh, let's actually make this over here for maple pastries. And as soon as I have more, I just, I need so many more planks. But I want to put a large tank of the maple syrup in here. And we'll make some maple pastries. And then I will move these other bakeries over here. And we'll have uh, some other better solution for the gristmill. But I digress. We have so, so, so much we're trying to get done. And it's not uh, not always going to be possible to get everything you want done 
done in a uh, an amount of time that makes sense. So let's go ahead and uh, unlock our vertical power shafts. That's going to be very useful, but uh, we do have to have... Oh, this is only for the cap. Oh, so what, what was I... Uh... What was I so excited about this for? I always forget. I can't... Uh, unless I do universals, but those take the gears to... Eh, it's cheaper to just... Cheaper to just do it the way that I probably should have done it the whole time. You know how this goes. It's a fun idea, though. We will use the vertical power shafts at some point. We just have to... Uh, just have to actually get there. So now... Oh, now I have to... Uh, I still have to put these uh I still have to put these stairs in. Come on, man. Um it's actually gonna be no, it'll still be more expensive to put the ladders in. That's kind of funny, actually, that it takes uh, that much to put that in there. Oh well. This is up here now, ready to go, kind of working on whatever, but now they're gonna use the planks for this. So maybe maybe we pause these. Because I, uh, I, I just, I have way too much, way too much I'm trying to build at the same time that's going to cause a lot of problems. I just need more planks, man. Come on. Come on, I got four of these things. I could probably cool it on the, uh, on the gears, though. That would definitely allow me to keep some planks. I think now is the time. 5.6 days left in the drought. Uh, now is the time to uh, unpause these, get these floodgates built. Because they can at least put the logs in place. So that we're, all we're waiting for is, in fact, the planks when we get there. We have so many trees. We probably don't need to have anywhere near this many trees planted. But we do, so that's fun, I guess. Uh, paper. We're not going to need paper for right now. I'm going to pause that. That's going to, what? Well, it's not like we need to save the labor or the logs, but, I don't know, saving the power might be uh, at least kind of intelligent. Possibly. Yeah, so this, I think... I know this is... This is like, why are you building it like this? Well, I don't really have a good good excuse. <laughs> I just kind of... I just kind of have to do it this way. But we are going to want to get up here so we can put the explosives in when the time comes. So, gravity batteries. The first gravity batteries we're going to want to put in are going to be probably... Actually, we need to... Uh, need to demolish all of this not going to be a big deal but the, it's going to have to be uh, connected to this side first and it needs to have an actual gap to go down into because it's, it's obviously not going to do anything if I just put this right here it's like alright well okay you're going to have a you're going to have a well it's not going to show it until it's built but you're going to have like a, a drop of I don't know 2000 HP stored nah nah that's, that's, that's not going to do it so if we actually measure this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we get about eight, eight on a side like this. That would be pretty good. Just a whole lot of building to get there. Whole lot of building. Gotta have, wow, they already built two of these. Okay. Well, that works. This is set to 2.0. I'm just going to have these all set to three permanently in case we uh, want to have water go downstream. I don't think we really need to worry about it. But we, uh, we'll get there eventually. I don't know if I want to put a farm up here because of how small this is, but th this would be a good place for some storage. Uh, water storage especially. And like I was saying, eventually I do want to have more pumps here, but I, we have tons. We have tons of water. We are very, very good shape for that moving forward. Just very interested to see, uh, see if they can get this done. I'm, at this point, I don't doubt they can do it. It just is taking uh, taking a long time to build stuff, as uh, as it sometimes does. But if I can get those finished, then I kind of want to put in another large tank. In fact, I can probably just start building it and just, just be done with it. Just put this maybe on the uh, maybe on the end here. Yeah, that would uh, probably be fine. But this is only it's only four slots. That's not gonna be enough space. So if I move it back one, then that means I could have, I got five. So I could actually do a large warehouse here. I could put a smaller one on the end for uh, different stuff. That would probably be, uh, 
probably be a smart thing to do. But this can definitely be for maple syrups that to obtain. They can just schlep that all the way across the map. And then they could actually keep these trees uh, properly harvested at all times. All right, we're looking uh, looking pretty good. Actually, the planks are only missing 15. Good. That's going to be nice to have that done. And that will just come down here and then come down here, and I won't have to do any other terraforming for a while. Uh, but the metal situation is going to be getting pretty dire here in a little bit unless we do something about coming over here. Or there's nowhere, nowhere on this side. We'd have to come all the way to the corner of the map to get to the mine, which the folktales have a terrible, terrible rate of efficiency with the, the underground mine. Or we come down, there's really not a lot of metal on this map comparatively. Oh, how did I miss this giant thing over here? So maybe we'll get to that, maybe not. We're about to the point where we'd have to have a separate district to do too much uh, more in the way of getting out to different spots. So maybe, maybe that's something we want to... Uh, want to consider, want to look into. So, uh, for additional water storage purposes, this is still three high. Yeah. Let's go ahead and continue uh, blasting this whole area out as best as we can. Try to get something uh, going there. We do have 78 explosives. Uh, the amount of extract we have is not going to be enough unless we turn on our centrifuge, which uh, at this point, there's no reason not to have it on. Except for the whole, you know, beavers getting critically injured thing. It's kind of important not to have that. But hey, this is done. That's cool. I was not confident that would be uh, something that could be accomplished. And okay, they're going to take their sweet time doing this because we also need metal. Yeah, I got to turn. I got to turn all this stuff on. Yeah, let's get that going. This poor guy. Still fractured 23, dutifully uh, bounding along, making 57 HP out of an estimated 50. So, hey, you go. You got some uh, got some power going on there. Yeah, so we, we want to have some more uh, storage capacity for unpumped water. But, I mean, honestly, I think we're okay on water storage, at least for this size of a colony. We are going to have to have some more beavers here before too long. Look at all this bread. We've, we've made a lot of bread. We have made a ton. Probably more than a ton, actually, by weight. So now we can actually turn our focus toward uh, getting this whole thing done. Since all of our planks are taken care of. We might actually be able to put gravity batteries in. Just gotta get it built. Gotta get it built. So what I can do now... So I can come up here with our stairs. I will actually do here and here so I can have uh, access to both levels. Uh, we'll get them to come up the stairs here, and then we can build from underneath for well, a decent bit of these and figure out some other stuff. But I am going to start... I actually, I should have prioritized this dynamite first before anything else. Uh, I want to triple dynamite as much of this as I possibly can. What did I say was going to be... Well, we could always extend it side to side. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Nine here. Ten if I go down here. But I think for right now... I think for right now... Take these two out. This should actually be the priority. So I could start building some additional... Uh, this additional stuff out here. So we only have a little bit left of the drought. It's about to be over. And then we will get at most... Well, at most it could be, I don't know, 15 days. But it's it's very likely we're going to have a six-day temperate season. I want to get as much water stored as we possibly can. They haven't even started putting the dynamite down here. So I don't know what they're uh, what they're waiting for. So I, I do have builders. I, I got rid of... Yeah, there's that uh, loud sound again. We got rid of our builder's uh, hut so we could make some bakeries, which, you know, is, is nice. But now, now, we don't have any unemployed beavers. We're actually completely neutral, which is fun. All right. This, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to have that turned on just because it's really far away. Don't need to have... Or that one, for that matter. 
Don't need to have the beavers traveling all over the place just to get to work and back if we don't need them to work those jobs. I guess I have to get rid of these trees as well. But that's gone, which means we can come in here and we can put in a gravity battery as soon as that's gone. Yeah, so if that's in place, so what I'm going to do here, I guess I'll just put in, well, I'll just might as well just put in a four-way. There's no reason not to. I'm going to make this so it goes around and it connects in from the side. I, I guess I have to have this whole thing all uh, set up like this. But if we have our gravity batteries uh, opposing each other like this, then we'll be in uh, we'll be in decent shape. But before we actually start building that, I know, I know, I know. Before we actually start building that, I do want to try and get this blasted out as best as I can. And we do have time, so don't worry. It's not going to be the end of the world. It will be okay. I just want to make sure I have a pass around here. And we can always move it later if we feel so inclined. But I need to be able to actually connect everything. And actually on this side, I don't have to worry about that at all because I'm not going to be going past anything. I just have to be able to get into, uh, into the side of this. So let's prioritize the explosives. So we, uh, yeah, this is uh, working pretty well here, I would say. In fact, there was some extra height we didn't need. Now, because I'm going to choose not to be dumb, I'm going to lower this so the water can come out before it becomes a problem. And yes, I probably should automate this. Yes, I have read the comments that tell me about how to do it. No, I still don't understand, so I... I'm not going to take the time during an unedited video to mess around and waste everybody's time. But at some point, I would like to figure that out. Sure is not going to be in the next month, because I'm going to be super busy. So I guess we'll see what happens. Hoping this doesn't flood in ways that I don't want it to. Would be very nice. All right, so now that that's coming in, I'll put it back up to 1.5. And should, should be good. Okay, we have our explosives. Well, most of them here. We're just missing on this one to come in here and actually finish. Set that down. There we go. Guess what? You know, actually, I can just do the four. I can do four at a time. I'll be a little bit faster. Because I am only going to be putting in, at the beginning, these uh, these two. And I can just build off to the side from there. So I think what we're going to have to do is prioritize these guys a little bit. But the dynamite definitely has to be first. And I should go ahead, since we are up here. And I imagine someone will uh, make that comment if they haven't already. About building, oh, get that out of here building a dynamite storage up where you're actually using the dynamite. So we'll just put that there temporarily. All right, so it's a drought and not a bad tide, which I guess is good for us not polluting things, but kind of bad for power generation. So we really, really want to make sure that we get this going at least a little bit. Gotta, gotta, gotta get some stuff. And we are missing... Um. Oh. Okay, no, we have we have enough to build two, at least for right now. All right, so that's going to go there. That's going to go there. Make these a priority. There we go. And the reason I'm doing this before I put these in is because I'm not going to have access to the inside of this, I guess you could call it a trench, until it's, uh, well... Not until it's too late, but it's about to be too late for me to have access to. I don't. I don't know what kind of, what kind of brain logic that was trying to say that. But I digress. I do have to have this blasted out at all possible opportunities. So let's get that going. Uh, good news is food is looking really good. Water is looking really good. We got some nice storage. Uh, more or less, 
full. I mean, we have, I don't know, 1,600 extra capacity we're not currently using. Got about 100 beavers, hard mode 3 per day. 3,000 will get us through uh, math. 30, no. 30 day drought, I guess, would be 3,000. I don't know. I'm probably committing math crimes by saying things wrong. That's fine. You're used to it by now, and if you're not, well, sorry. <laughs> The one thing I still have not done that we really probably should do. Um, oh, this is connected. We can do, we can do this. I need to connect these two. This needs to be a priority uh, right here. These have needed to be connected for a long time. Just so all the water can go where it needs to go. It's not really that big of a deal, but it is something that has kind of nagged me and people have left comments saying, hey, why, have you, why haven't you done that yet? So I figured it's an easy enough thing for us to do. And then that can get replaced with a double platform and that will solve that problem. All right, so we have 1.3 days left. This is, ah, that's the bottom of the map. How fortuitous. All right, so that's going to go here. That's going to go here. And we will have this one be first, so that can actually be connected. And the, the batteries don't have to charge, so it's not mission critical that they are built in time to charge, because they will already be charged by virtue of the weight being all the way at the top. But we want to have at least one connected when the drought actually starts, or else it's going to cause some, uh, some problems for us in terms of power interruption. But one of these going all the way to the bottom of the map. And yes, I know I could have made this a little taller. I just, I don't want to look at that. We'll have a, we'll have a lot of these. It'll be fine. One of these going at the start of the drought should power stuff long enough to get this second one put in place. We just have to make sure that we are continuing uh, to get everything accomplished here. So we're looking good. Um, we don't need more bad water or else I'd have that turned on. We need to figure out a better solution to this with our wheat flour because we kind of don't have any wheat flour right now. We're just we're going through it like gangbusters because we have a... Well, we have, we have four bakeries using all that stuff. Hey, this is done. Oh, the maple syrup. So that's that's going to be great to have over there. We'll let them uh, take care of that. We need to make some more haulers as well. But we're not quite there yet. Oh man, I wish they would. Have, I wish they would have actually finished this. That's a shame. That is unfortunate. Because now I gotta wait for somebody to wake up and come over here. But I guess the uh, the water is gonna keep going for a little while. Twenty nine days maximum length. Okay, well we're definitely not getting through that today. But uh, we will see. I guess. All right, twenty six thousand. Eh, all right, I'll take it. I was hoping for 30, but I guess I was off by one. So now that that's in place, uh, this is going to have to go up. Uh, I did a stupid. I did a stupid. This is supposed to be a three-way. That was a not, not smart. I guess I could. Oh, I, I could just run a straight thing here, but that's going to be ugly. So I kind of don't want to do that. All right, let's... um. Let's commit to greatness here. I will. I'll make this a four-way just in case. It's going to be on the back side. Yeah, come get that, and then come get this. I know it's the end of the day. They're not going to come do it. But now, see, now this can actually get properly finished. I imagine we might get half of the logs, and then they'll be done because, oh, we don't have to... We don't have to do anything anymore. We can go to bed because it's over. Like, well, that's uh, certainly a choice you could make if you felt like uh, being dumb. But I digress. Let's uh, let's just get as much of this blown out as we possibly can. We uh, actually we don't have enough. We don't have enough uh, stuff to do all of that. So let's do uh, let's do this one one bit right here to make two more of these. That can go in. Now this needs to be a priority. All right. 
so oh you know what I didn't do is I didn't I didn't raise I really oh man I really need to uh I really need to automate this I just I I don't have the uh I shouldn't say I don't have the ability I, I should say I don't have the confidence to do it live and potentially just completely destroy everything else we've got going on for us here so do I have mm, ah I do I do have enough metal do I have enough gears. No, I need 60 gears. But this can actually run now if I chose to uh, do it that way. So let's unpause. Um, I guess I don't need to unpause the uh, treated planks. We can unpause the gears. We could probably put a couple more of those uh, workshops in while we're at it. Okay, you're out of stuff to do, huh? Scavenger flag... All right, well, that was uh, was nice while it lasted. Let's put in... Uh, should we come over here to grab this? This is really far. This is also far. And this is also... We're going to have to have a separate district. I really wanted to avoid it. But I guess we will need to do that. We also should start getting dirt. But the excavation station requires... That's not what it's called. Dirt Excavator. I like Excavation Station better as a name. Uh, that's something we could put uh, over here. Let's research this. I gotta find a good place for... Oh, of course it's not gonna... It's an odd number of blocks because, of course, it is. Hmm. I guess it should probably be a little lower. Some place that we'd want water to actually pool in. So what if... Oh, no, that's not gonna fit. The doorway's on the second level anyway. But all I would have to do, actually, to make this happen is I just have to put in, I think, let's pause this so I don't make any stupids here. Yeah, all I have to do is that. <laughs> it just has to have the levels, which means all I have to do is uh, put it here and then run power to it. So, get rid of this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice and level, and I can just... Uh, oh, I actually don't have... Don't have a way for power to get into it. What if I... What if I moved it here? Well, it's not really any better, is it? It's actually kind of far away for beavers to uh, go into all the time. Should I even be worrying about this? Probably not. Probably not. I should have just... Uh, I should just put it here, honestly. Um, yeah, and connect it right to, right to that side. Because this is a... Uh, this is a spot we wouldn't mind to have some additional water. Or even uh, even down here. But in terms of actually having... Uh, having these guys do work, this is a great spot to put it. I don't have to worry about having... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, terraformers. Universal power shaft. Yeah, it's gonna be the easy thing to do. Just put that there. And then on top of it, put uh, that guy. Because we wanted to unlock these anyway, right? Yeah, this is a really backwards way of doing this, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, three way here. And then I think they should be able to build all of that. Maybe. I will put a, uh, put a staircase here. So this guy. This guy needs 50 metal blocks, which we almost have. 100 treated planks, which we do have. And 100 gears, which we don't, but almost have. So now we have these guys. So we have some power stored up. We can actually produce all of our stuff just have to get everything popped in. If we can have this dirt excavator actually uh, finished by the time we're done with this episode in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, that's going to be a great accomplishment. And this isn't a bad spot to do it either. That is not a bad spot to do it. We are going to have to have uh, storage. And we are going through the metal blocks, of course, because we're putting them in the dirt excavator. We're going to have to have plenty of storage over here. 
scrap metal. Um, oh, we actually don't have any more. Oh, no. We don't have any more scrap metal. Oh, that's a huge pain. Now I have to come up here. Oh, jeez. I knew this would be too, it's too easy to be uh, true. Well, just for the sake of actually getting stuff done without building all these platforms everywhere. Right now, I will have this path just come out here. And I will, well, I will have a, I'll have this get out of here. So I should zoom in more. I'll have this come over here and then I'll put these stairs here. And then we have that little bit there. We'll just have to remember not to, uh, not to have the, uh, the bad water do, uh, do its thing over here. So that's going to have, well, see, this is, this is what we have to, this is what we have to go through to actually accomplish stuff here. <sighs> All right. So we're going to have to have probably at least two of these. They're super far away, so they probably aren't going to get anything done anyway. Uh, scrap metal storage, but right here. We can't prioritize it by haulers, but uh, once it's built, we can. So now this is all priority numero uno to get, to get that done. And the stairs, and the stairs. That is pretty far away. So now they can get rid of that. Uh, this can become slightly lower priority so they can start building everything else. Uh, we have plenty of power. I, sh oh, I really should have built this first. Now now I've created a challenge mode for myself is, is what I've done. Not necessarily in the fun way either. This does not need to be running. We'll pause that. Don't need to have every single beaver running all over the place. This is already 67 blocks uh, distance. This is already 97. This is already 105. And this is going to be, I don't know, like 120? Maybe 115? Maybe even more than that. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll get it figured out. They got to build this. And then they got to get all this stuff done. Which means they're going to have to have a whole bunch of planks. But it doesn't make sense for me to build plank storage up here. Because that would take just as long. That's fine. At least we have some we have some water here. If we felt like it, we could actually uh, release it. Why don't we? Since we have all this space that we just made, why don't we do that? Let's uh, let's drop that down. Send it back around here. Okay, we might actually be able to get this done inside of the next ten minutes. Man, I'm just beside myself. I thought I was thought it was good on the metal blocks. I guess I wasn't. Well, what else is new? It's actually a surprising amount of volume when I lowered that. That's impressive. This is not gonna be it's not gonna be high enough to actually go over the top. Well not all of it, at least some of it might. So we will have to let that out. Yeah, we're gonna see a tiny bit spill over here. But that's pretty much it. So this, we'll go ahead and uh, set that in motion. Be cool if I had to recharge these gravity batteries, but um, we're still making more than we can use. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. How are we looking on the rest of this? Just need 20 more gears. Okay, that's fine. We're making progress here. That's looking decent. Water is going down, going down, going down. This can now be set to 2.0 so we don't lose any when that flows in. And I'm going to go ahead and raise that so we keep our water here where we want it. So this should be, yep, now it's coming down. Yeah, flooding uh, right through this because it's not contaminated. Going to fill this up nicely here. And I am going to detonate this so we have a little bit more storage at the end. All right, and this is actually actually going to overflow this a little bit, unless I let it fill this up first. Yeah, actually, that worked out really well. I am glad we did that. Even though it's uh, 23 days left, it was going to evaporate a lot faster up here. 
now that we've got this big deep storage, this should be substantially better. I don't think we're going to need it, but it's nice to have. It's always nice to have. So why did we, why did they build this first? That doesn't make any sense. Huh. Well, now I guess we get to, uh, get to do this in a real, <laughs> of course they're going to build that first because they don't have the, uh, the other stuff. Yeah, let's let's get this thing going, man. I I want to get this uh want to get this started for the end of the episode. Would be nice. Okay, so they're putting these putting these explosives in here. Should not be surprised. Food wise, still looking really good. Um, we obviously can't make enough maple pastries because we don't have enough uh wheat flour. That was gonna be one of the things that we did. Uh, once I put these other things in, because I thought I was going to get rid of this, but then I didn't. Because I figured I needed to put storage over here. So that's fun. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's, let's just go ahead and make ourselves a storage. This can be for maple pastries, because they don't have any storage at all. And then this can be for wheat flour again. Probably is not a bad idea to have more storage for that. So actually what I can do is I can get rid of these bakeries. And I can just move these grist mills. Uh, maybe not because of the way the doorway is set up. No, I, I, I couldn't. I could, I could take one of these away. Put another grist mill here. I don't know that that would be the best idea either. We just need to have some more uh, some more wheat flour. We'll get there eventually. All right, are we actually harvesting metal? Oh, this isn't set to anything. That was... Nope, that's dumb. There we go. Well, we do have scrap metal, and we should, in theory, be able to produce some metal blocks here in just a second. Everything else is ready. We just need the 10. So that's looking okay. We haven't put... Any more explosives here, but, uh, okay, that's actually going down kind of fast. We're going to want to, uh, going to want to put in this other stuff. And I can't, unfortunately, wait, no, yeah, I can. Oh, I can absolutely put these, uh, gravity batteries in first because they have pathing to put these, well, these two, these ones down here. No, they don't. But we, uh, will get there eventually, hopefully. We don't have any more extract for whatever reason. This is still looking good, still looking pretty good. We do have scrap metal, so these should should be going. I don't know where Oasis is. Not uh, not smelting currently, that's for sure. What's up? You're sleeping. My guy, it's like it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Get up, let's go. You shouldn't be exhausted. Your eighteen-hour day is like the default. I guess we could maybe. Oh, he's injured. Okay. All right. Well, stop being injured. You'll be okay. How do I have? How do I have such a deficit of a? Oh, we had a death wave. All on the same day. That's uh, that's kind of problematic. All right. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll be okay. Still got a little bit of time, but I man, I wish this was a little faster. All right, now Tyler's in here, uh, along with Josh, making us some uh, some. Uh, I want to say steel beams. They're not steel beams. They're metal blocks, according to the game. So what are we waiting for here? Extract? Yes, we are. So I guess... Um, oh, we are out of bad water. Because it's all stored in the building that I can't get to. So I guess now I have to turn this back on. So we can pump this out. So then we can get the guys back into the bad water rig. There's all sorts of stuff I didn't uh, didn't even think to uh, to do until it was a little bit too late. 
how are we looking here? Still need logs for the uh, large warehouse, but we have all the planks. That's good. So we can actually store maple pastries once this is uh, complete. Wheat flour. I, I need to figure out a better solution for this. Probably, actually, I don't even need to have the large windmill. I just need to have another windmill. Uh, the bread situation is looking really good, actually. So why don't we... Why don't we take our dynamite here, make that a priority, because then I can take a universal power shaft and then one of these uh, vertical ones on top of that. I just hook this thing up. That should be fine. But while we're while we're in here, I do, I do think I will replace this with a large one. I think that's a reasonable thing for us to do. Think being the operative term. Oh, good. This is. This is working. We got people in. Oh, of course it takes extract. I forgot. <laughs> well, we do have uh, some some dirt. Some dirt. Probably you're going to need to have another centrifuge here. Um, dirt storage we don't have for right now. Oh, see, this is just not, not ideal the way this is uh, laid out. Let's, for right now, just uh, put in a little one. Just so we can have somewhere to put dirt. I know, we should we should have a big one. We'll get there. We'll get there. I just need to have somewhere to put this stuff so we can eventually use it somewhere else. But, but uh, we have the terrain blocks. And we can actually start putting these in place. We've got a lot of... Uh, Got a lot of trees we got to get rid of. Let's put in a little staircase so we can just, uh, you know, get rid of all these. I don't know that they're going to be able to reach all of them, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. So that's done. That's nice. But now I've got the problem of solving all of my problems here. Let's. Uh, I have the problem of solving my problems. That's a great. Uh, that's a great command of the English language there. Come, come grab all this stuff so I can pop this windmill in here. Because I know it's going to shove that rubble somewhere where I can't get to it. Always, always loves to do that. What's, what's left in here? One log? Okay. There we go. Build this thing immediately with a quickness. With the utmost of expedience. We, we do have everything, right? Yes. Yes, we do. All right, top priority now. Get that done. Fortunately, we have a lot of bread. We don't have any maple pastries because we don't have nearly enough in the way of these, uh, what do you call them, things? Grist mills. Really, really should have installed the, uh, the touch windmill mod. What a great mod. So I guess we'll let them take care of that. We're coming up on the... Uh, upper limit of our time that I self-impose anyway. So I guess that's uh, something we should uh, be aware of as well. All right, so these birch trees being deconstructed. I, you know, I never rebuilt that uh, that builder's hut. That's probably why this is taking, taking so long to get this stuff done. But I need to find a good spot for it. Well, I don't really need to find a good spot. I just need to find a spot. All right, right here. When you least expect it, you're elected. You're the star today. Alright, give me these last three planks. Let's go. I got stuff to do. People watching this have better things to do with their lives. Alright, those two go in. Pop this in place, and then we will come in with our grist mill right here. If I flip it, the doorway goes there. Yeah, that might be kind of a fun thing to just uh, have a little tiny bit of symmetry here. A little bit of radial symmetry, kind of, maybe. Well, technically radial symmetry would be... It was rotated like this, I think, but... We're going to we're gonna pretend that I'm smart. And uh, just stick this here. Just as soon as they finish this top thing. I don't know that they're going to right now, unfortunately. It is marked as a priority, though, so should be buildable. All right, so that is probably going to be one of the last things we do in this episode. We've done quite a bit in the past hour or so, and I think we'll be pretty happy with it. 
We do need to get a better long-term solution for the scrap metal. That is definitely going to be a fun thing to contend with in the future with how far away everything is. But that's done. And now we can build our second grist mill. Uh, set that for wheat flour. And then we'll have both of those going. And hopefully we can make a bunch more of these maple pastries. So we can take this out of triple speed mode. Uh, check out underground ruins here. We already knew about. There's one over here. Um, I thought there was another one. Yeah, there's one over here. But they are way far away. Oh, there's one here too. Okay, this is actually probably the easiest one for us to get to, even though this one might technically be closer to the district center. I don't know. But we can be very satisfied with everything we've gotten done, I think. Obviously more to come, more to get done, and we'll see what happens when we get to that point. But now everything is looking pretty peachy. Got a little bit left to do on this grist mill, so we'll We'll let them take care of the rest of that. Give you guys a little bit of a low angle view here for a sec, because we, we really never do that. But yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, etc., please do leave those below. I do read all of them. I can't respond to all of them, and lately I haven't been able to respond to that many at all. But I do read them, and I am very thankful for your input, because as I always say, this is a let's play, not a watch me play. So... Very uh, eager for your feedback there. Also want to take a second to recognize the Beard Boosters and their contributions. Look at that running animation. That's cute. Um, but uh, it really would not be possible without those folks. So very thankful for them and you as well. Don't forget, uh, I announced in the video on Sunday that I'm doing uh, colony reviews. Going to have a couple of those hopefully coming soon, depending on how fast people are able to get me uh, their saves. But if you have a Timberborn save that you are proud of, uh, you've done something cool, you have a huge population, you built something that looks interesting. Interesting and appropriate for YouTube before uh, some of you start getting ideas, because I know those wheels are already turning. Uh, there is a form on my community tab for you to fill out uh, with a little bit of information about your colony, etc. If you used any mods so I can make sure I have everything loaded correctly. And then you can actually send me the .timber save file of your colony and I will pick some and I'll do videos on them. Uh, go around, check out what you guys have built, and uh, see what's up with that. But yeah, look forward to those coming out. I don't know when. Depends on uh, how fast I get submissions and how fast I can turn those around. But I figured that would be a fun way to kind of switch things up as we go into the uh, holidays here at the end of the year. And I will be in and out doing family vacation stuff. So it helps make sure that we have a steady stream of content as well. So if you'd love to be part of that, I would love to have you. Look forward to seeing those submissions. And of course... Uh, all the other fun stuff we have coming up as well. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's video on Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, do let me know what you th thought about that one. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Fun game. I was recently given access to the campaign for that, which uh, is all sorts of a good fun. But we'll have plenty of that coming as well in the future as we get deeper into all of that stuff. I know a lot of you wanted that one for a while, but sunsetting in this playthrough on today's episode so we'll go ahead and leave it here hope you have a fantastic rest of your day whatever it is you're doing stay safe have fun and we'll catch you in the next one bye, -bye.